the prospect of seeing why Sally Serevi and Donny Vuthu on the park at the same time. Surely they wouldn't take this fella. Donny Vuthu off. That was uh, a long looping pass there by William Ryder. And the chase is on. That's on the man we've just been talking about. Couldn't catch him. And so Fiji have hit very hard in the first couple of minutes. Raymond Rodan, one of the real stars for the Fijians, has scored just outside the first minute of this second half with a conversion to come. He looks to the skies, and why wouldn't he? Injured a little bit earlier on. It's actually a change, and it's a Tui Draki. The wing from Nandi, the 22-year-old. It's a dream come true, he said, game on, game to on. play for his national side. Oh, they'll be celebrating in Suva. They certainly will. Tindraki scoring for Fiji, and the kick is good. It's all tied up at seven points all. There's some tired legs, but when you're playing in front of a packed stadium, you know your home nation is watching. You just got that little extra bit of adrenaline coursing through your veins. That was a superb score, a solo effort. Vimer Tindraki. Okay. Oh. Oh, he too should have passed. Making hard work of it. Chewing Draki around the outside. John Ewing just can't stop him. And it's try number seven for Fiji. 45 points to seven. First try. For Hima. Tag Bola Bola with Dana Vuthu. He's just holding it up for him. Waiting, waiting, but didn't get rid of it quickly enough. He was on the ground. If you're on your knees, you're on the ground in terms of a tackle. He was held. Good decision by the referee, Christian Dupree, and here come Argentina. Never count them out. Gautier gets the return pass, Bruzzoni. Bruzzoni, off cross comes to Indraki with the tackle. Ball's there somewhere along the way. Remarkably, the biggest ever win by anyone over New Zealand was their quarterfinal, 43-14 by Fiji. And Christian Dupree is the referee. And he is a referee who is... Uh, certainly becoming a terrific role model and here under Nicolas Fernandez lobby come Argentina a standing a young referee and uh, an aspect of this tournament and all the others that should be stressed because it's a great proving ground for referees let alone players here come Argentina warriors who act on instinct but on flair and unsurpassable handling and running skills here are Fiji for the first time in possession Nankalabuki and uh, up the middle here to Indraki oh that looked a bit high to me and the danger but his Danavuthu oh look at that we've said it all I think throughout the course of these two days this man is just a joy to behold Well, we know how influential he is. Ball in hand. Powerful running. And the support they didn't. Game in Pool A. Fiji against Canada. The world champions currently. And also, for the first time ever last season, the overall IRB Sevens champions. Displacing the perennial winners, New Zealand. Here's the lineup. Well, they seem to have all the skills. Watch out, particularly, I think, for number eight, Naomi Nanuku. The power of uh, Nankalabuki. No William Ryder, he waits on the bench with his mentor Waisali Serevi, 38, and uh, still going strong, the player coach. The Canadian side, I'm not sure they've got enough uh, to cope in terms of winning possession. Dave Moonlight, captain's of the side, far and away their most experienced player. I've been impressed with uh, Phil Mack and Neil Meachin, two new recruits, relatively speaking, in this season and last. In the case of Phil Mack, had uh, three tournaments before this season. But it would be some sort of upset if Canada. But to be fair to the men in red here, they did beat Argentina a week ago and Tunisia in Dubai. But never have they succeeded against these men in white, who are, well, obviously, 
top of the world in terms of titles, but uh, fell from grace by their standards, losing to New Zealand in the Cup semi-final in Dubai. Lost to New Zealand 12-17. And uh, I suppose if you had to make predictions, you'd say, well, this team in white, Fiji and South Africa, would be the favourites. But you never know. James Jones from South Wales had charge of the semi-final last week. One of the new young referees on the rise and rise. From the sign in this onesie, shrill blast. Seven minutes each way, all about possession. First take, Chris Bitkowski wide from Phil Mack. Oh, a take up, taken up by... To Indraki, nicknamed the Iron Man. This is Nabu Luaka. Right on the Canadian line in these opening moments. A drive through, but not successful from To Indraki. But possession retained. Must be an easy score. Soft score out wide for Nava. Amaniasi Kuruinovo Nava. Tall, lean, and a new man in Fijian colors. Only two new faces in this lineup, and this was one of them. And he can run a bit too, he didn't have to then. The conversion attempt by Naomi Nanuku is off target. Below the crossbar, at any rate. But you never quite know where the attack's going to come from, they're all. Uh, Great runners, and this was a simple overlap. The defence was totally uh, out of place. So, the scoring team restarts. Bukowski, one of several players, University of Victoria, very much a training ground for Canadian internationals. This is Dave Moonlight, first run, shadowed and taken down by Tuindraki. Touch is given. Shield winners a year ago, winning against Tunisia or Canada. That's the fourth tier. On the second day, the two top in each pool go through to the cup quarterfinals. The losers of that go into the plate. And the two bottom in today's pool round go into the bowl quarterfinals. And the losers of the bowl quarterfinal playoff go into the shield. So there are four competitions. This is Vimaili Tuindraki, heads for the corner, big tackle attempt by Phil Mack, not enough to stop the challenge. Vima Tuindraki, oh, he's given a touch call here, touch is given. Well, good officiating, keeping a close eye, disappointment for... Oh, uh -huh. 